Are we in World War III? You bet we are. And let me tell you, there are two people in the world who are to blame for it. Their names are Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Now let me explain to you why. We need to go back in history and learn a lesson. But first of all, remember, there are now four nations that are involved in the combat in Ukraine. Ukraine on one side, Russia, Belarus, and now Syria on the other side. And what's scary is the United States is seriously thinking about putting combat troops into southern Ukraine at this very moment. Now, that's a world war. And here's the problem that we haven't learned. We just haven't learned history. Because what happened in the beginning of World War I, it took two decades for that war to begin. It started with the Russo-French alliance, the Franco-Russo alliance in 1894. They were scared of Germany. And then Germany allowed Austria-Hungary to begin annexing Bosnia and Herzegovina and other small countries in Eastern Europe. And what they developed was a powder keg that basically blew up in 1914 when Archduke Francis Ferdinand was murdered in Sarajevo by a Serbian revolutionary. And that started the domino effect. Well, we're seeing the same thing in the world today. Biden and Obama failed to take any action when Russia annexed Crimea, when Russia went into Georgia, when Russia basically took over Kazakhstan. And now what we're seeing in Ukraine is the same thing. Putin does not want his Russian empire interfered with. And so what we're watching is that more and more countries of the world are deciding, okay, which country are we going to ally with for the great sphere of influence that's at the border of Europe? This is World War III. It's a domino effect, and it's a scary time.